Welcome back to my basic web security tutorial. Last chapter I talked about browser choice. This chapter I'll talk about browser options. Uh, I'll because I'm using uh, my Mozilla Firefox and I don't really know the other browsers. Uh, I'm going I'll have to uh, talk about this one, but the concepts generally apply to other browsers. So uh, you, you should look into your options and see uh, what uh, what fits to uh, view. So uh, be wary of loopholes uh, such as JavaScript, cookies, Flash, ActiveX, JavaScript, and all utilities and plugins. Because uh, again, with the, the the pros and cons and double-edged sword, uh, the more things that uh, you have on your browser and the more security threats that you have on your browsers. So uh, I explained previously in the chapter. Let me check which. Oops, sorry. And uh, God, I forget so fast. And active protection. Last chapter in uh, active protection uh, ch chapter, I have mentioned cookies. So I uh, won't explain into details what it does. Uh, you can please uh, go see that if you want again. Uh, other loopholes, the, the biggest one will be JavaScript and Flash. ActiveX will be uh, is something that was done to uh, do uh, like JavaScript for Internet Explorer. Java is uh, pretty well known. They're security enabled, but uh, they, there's ways to uh, uh, have uh, software go deeper. They usually get a uh, warning, but uh, people uh, sometimes uh, click too fast. So our next main concerns will be JavaScript and Flash. So uh, just me pause this for a second to get some uh, websites to show you. There we go. Uh, most of the websites. Oops, something wrong here. Let me fix that. So there you go. Uh, if you don't, most websites will have JavaScript enable, but it's a security loophole. It it allows uh, uh, threats, complicated threats, uh, to be done. It's an unconventional threat to be done. As I mentioned, ninety-five percent. Of uh, threats or uh, security threats are done with uh, unconventional ways. So uh, JavaScript is one of them. It's the main one. So uh, you might uh, not want to have it on. But the thing is, a lot of websites requires it. So you know, as again, again, as uh, the previous chapters, as software, as uh, browsers, as uh, websites. It's all about trust. So this site is on my computer. You see here, file C. <laughs> so I trust myself. <laughs> I'm not uh, that schizophrenic yet, yet. So I trust myself. I will allow JavaScript here. This is oh, let me show you. This is a, a Mozilla uh, add-on. It's called NoScript. Uh, here it allows. Uh, it just allow this uh, JavaScript to be uh, disabled by default and allow uh, specific sites to allow it. So I could just allow it temporarily, just for uh, I don't know. There's a, probably a timeout, like 30 minutes, un until uh, and after that they will uh, again block it. But I will allow it all the time because I trust myself. So I allow my computer in here. This function, this now function. I don't have the warning anymore. It had a warning in red. You probably remember the red, and you you here you remember that it was in gray. So now it doesn't have gray anymore, and I can use it. So here I use it because the point was I couldn't uh, I couldn't uh, put it again. Oops, this is a cookie safe. The main, the main point was uh, it was useless even if it would this was allowed uh, even if this was enabled uh, this is was done by JavaScript so it was absolutely useless for me to put it there so I put a warning right away so and, and I disable it so people uh, are more aware of this and they will be more uh, have more incentive to put JavaScript on to use use it 
So there you go. So if it's uh, gray, you'll notice. If there's a warning, also you notice. So this is a this is a problem with this uh, this browser is uh, you won't have JavaScript enabled. You will only uh, enable it if you need it. And with with uh, such a page, you will easily see that you will need it. But with other pages, it might not be so obvious. So you see, this is a traditional HTML link. It it functions.